Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've taken all the acid out of the battery and uh, you can look down in here. You might be able to see down in here. If I can get one of them, you can see they're dry. Cells are dry in there. And what I've done is I've gone through and I have uh, rinsed it out once with just water. And I got them all as clean as I can with just water right now. And I've come back around and I've got just, you can see a bucket of water right here, just plain water. And what I'm going to use is this baking soda washing. It's just what I had, so I tried it last time and it worked fine, so I'm going to do it again. But it's just this baking soda washing booster. And I'm going to put about a cup of it in here, in this about a you know, gallon and a half of water or so. And uh, go ahead and fill up these cells and kind of get them cleaned out here so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this and I'm gonna have to pause between videos and whatnot because I only got two hands and it's kind of hard to do this I need to get a GoPro or something <laughs> let's go ahead and mix this in here again it's roughly a cup or two so I'll get you to kind of see that I'm gonna mix it up and fill this up I'm probably gonna have to pause it here for a second I just want to let you see me put that in and again that the battery was empty so now i'm gonna go ahead and find something to find something to mix that up just sitting around here a piece of pvc plate and i'm probably this is not an exact science here i didn't really measure anything just kind of mix it up to where you're not gonna have sediment and stuff sitting around and Get it good and mixed up. Probably about as good as it really needs to be. I mean, you can feel a little bit of grit down there in the bottom, but it's not not bad. So it, again, it's always easier to have an extra set of hands, making a little bit of a mess. But I don't care. I got a little bit of acid on the concrete, which you'd want to be careful doing. And now I'm actually barefoot, which is even dumber of an idea, but I went and I got some acid here on my flip-flops and my feet. So I had to wash them off really quick, but we're going to get our funnel and see if I can manage this one-handed like. Usually it's about one funnel like that, full, and that'll get one cell filled right to the top. And you can kind of see it's bubbling. If you look down in there, it's bubbling. And what that's doing is like neutralizing any remaining acid and essentially cleaning our cell. So I'm just going to continue that process for every single one of these. And it's still bubbling, still bubbling. This was kind of neat the first time I did it. You can see this one's bubbling over, bubbling over, bubbling over. And just continue on. And again, these this is acid you're working with here, so you really want to be careful. Don't breathe any of the gases because it is going to create some gases. And if you smell something, and you will, just get it. Do this in well ventilated area is the best, the best thing to do. I'm outside the garage right now making a mess trying to be as careful as I can here again just let all these fill up if you need to add a little bit more when you're done here just to make sure go ahead and do so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these up as full as I can and I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour like I did last time I might let it sit a little bit longer this time because I got a couple other projects I can work on in the meantime but again, like I said, I want everybody to kind of see the actual process that I was doing. That way you knew exactly what was going on. Again, it's just baking soda, laundry soap booster is what I was using. I don't, I don't think it's any different than regular baking soda, to be honest with you. I read the box and it's the same ingredients. Didn't have anything extra in it, but all these are filled up to a decent level and they're all bubbling away as you can see. And uh, this one down here on the end, I'm actually going to add a little bit more to. 
probably overfilled at that time. Yeah, overfilled at that time. It's not a bad thing to do that though because you'll see some nasty junk come up bottom. If you want to see, this right here is the acid that came out of it. And it, it's a, you can see from the side here, it's like a gray black color. And what that is is the lead that it's eaten off of the, at the uh, cells and everything and all the sulfation and whatnot that come out the first time. And our new acid, you can't really see very well, but you can a little bit. It's clear. Came in this bag right here inside that box. That's our new acid. Again, got that little Riley's. And it was not real expensive. It was $24, $25 for a five gallon thing of it. But yeah, it's clear when it goes in. And that's what happens after your battery gets some age on it. And yeah, <laughs> that's. If you have that happen, it creates a barrier between the actual lead plate cells down inside here between the plates and it doesn't allow it to make a connection which is where you get your electricity from now again if you look in here you can kind of tell these are browning up that water that was once somewhat clear you can see the leftovers down there at the bottom still somewhat clear is now you can't really see but it's gray again it's taking all that junk that's down in there yeah I wish you could see a little better but you can't Maybe right here. I don't know. It's gray. Either way, it's not. It's about that color. And we're just going to let this sit, and we're going to get it good and cleaned up, and then I'll come back here when it's all done. We'll fill up with acid, and we'll test it out, and we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching.